Namaste beautiful souls. Welcome back to Yoga Infusion and especially a big welcome if you are new. My name is Dylan and today's practice is going to be an intermediate vinyasa flow for empathy. So finding empathy within your practice. How can you find empathy for yourself, for those around you? Really bringing that feeling into the body throughout this practice. So it's a little bit ethereal, right? It's a little bit um, not necessarily something tangible, but I want you to focus your intention for this practice on feeling into that empathy, allowing it to settle into your body as you move through this practice. There will be balancing postures, there will be difficult postures. So leaning into that compassion, right? And before we begin, I'd love to invite you to first off subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification to make sure that you never miss a new class. Right now we have classes coming out every other Tuesday. And then secondly, if you want to become a part, a part of the bigger community, make sure you add me on Instagram at yoga.infusion. That way you never miss any of the other things that are happening off of YouTube, right? We have new moon circles, we have the membership, we have live classes, and those things don't often show up on YouTube or in the YouTube space. So if you want to know about those kinds of things and keep in touch, make sure you follow me on Instagram at yoga.infusion. And without further ado, do, let's begin. We'll begin today in Tadasana at the top of the mat. So take your feet hip distance apart, lift the toes, spread the toes, and place them back down one by one. Really engaging through the arches, press down through the heels, lift through the inner arches, engaging the inner thighs a little bit. Keep a micro bend in the knee, lengthen the tailbone towards the heels, lift the front body up, ground the back body down. Take your hands to your left and your right, palms facing forward, fingertips energetic. Relax the shoulders and close the eyes. Now just take a moment here at the beginning of this practice to settle in. See where you've landed today. Take a mental note of your internal environment. How do you feel? How does your body feel? How does your energy feel today? Take a deep breath in through the nose. And out through the nose, settling in. Continue to lengthen the breath. Lift tall through the torso. Let the shoulders relax even more on the exhale. On your next inhale, swoop the arms up towards the sky, engage the core, lean back, look up. Exhale, hands to prayer at heart center. Inhale, reach. A little bit of a back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last time, inhale, reach. Exhale. Hands at prayer. And this time take the left palm towards the heart, right hand directly on top of it, but don't let anything touch. So the hands are about an inch apart and the closest hand, the left hand, is about an inch away from your heart. Keep the hands engaged and notice the energy moving through the palms. And if you don't feel anything here, that's totally fine. You can visualize some light glowing between the palms, moving between the palms and the heart. The heart is the home of love, all kinds of love and relationships, all kinds of relationships. So sending energy into the space, really allowing it to open, to crack open here in a warm and supported manner. So that we have that 
capability, the aptitude for empathy. Right? You have to have a, an open heart, a heart that feels safe, in order to be open to others. Couple more breaths here. Beautiful. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank. Press the heels away from you, core tight. Hip points move towards the face. Gaze at a space a few, maybe a foot above your hands, in front of your hands. Bend the elbows directly back toward the knees, chaturanga to upward facing dog. Come onto the tops of the feet, lift the knees off the mat, look over the right shoulder and over the left. Second chaturanga to downward facing dog. Shake the head, yes and no. Release the back of the neck. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, rock forward to plank. Take the knee to the right elbow, left elbow, and back to downward dog. Rock forward, right elbow, left elbow, and back to. Take it slow. Three. Four, inhale, kick up. Exhale, rock forward. Five. Speed is of no importance here. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Core tight. Last one. Ten. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, press the left heel away from you, inhale up, high lunge. Engage that back leg, lift the core, relax the shoulders, lift the core, engage the core, lift the torso, there we go, relax the shoulders. Press through the inner and outer edge of the right foot. Bring the hands to prayer. Sink a little deeper in the lunge. Focus on the breath, breathing in and out through the heart space. Prayer twist. Relax the shoulders, maybe look over the right shoulder, press the left heel away from you, engage that left leg. Inhale back up, exhale, plant the palms on either side of the right foot. Stay here a moment. You can lift up onto the spidey fingers and runner's lunge, getting a nice stretch. Maybe a gentle sway to the left and the right. And plant the palms, step it back, vinyasa. to downward dog. <sighs> Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, rock forward to plank, left elbow, left knee to left elbow, right elbow back. And continue, left elbow, right elbow back, two, three, four, Take your time, core tight, five, spread the fingers super wide, nice strong base, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10, kick it back, and exhale, step the foot between the hands, press the right heel away from you, inhale up, high lunge. Ah. 
Press into the inner and outer edge of that right foot. Press the right leg away from you. Maybe bend the right knee a little bit, bring the hips underneath the shoulders, and then re-straighten through the back leg to get a little bit of a different stretch. In hands to prayer. Engage through the core, relax the shoulders. Breathe in and out through the heart space. Imagine perhaps a light there moving in and out of that space. Inhale, the light moves into the body. And exhale, the light releases through the heart space, through the hands, and out into the world. And if that visualization doesn't resonate with you, just let it go. It's not necessary. Just focus on the physical practice. Focus on keeping your attention in the heart space in the body. Excellent. Prayer twist. Right elbow on the outside of the left knee. Press the right leg away from you. Straighten through the right leg. Relax the shoulders. Inhale back up. Exhale, plant the palms. Come onto the spidey fingers on both sides of the left foot. Runner's lunge, just noticing the stretch, taking a nice stretch in the right hip flexor. Maybe a gentle sway to the left and the right. Beautiful, plant the palms, step it back, plank, vinyasa. To downward dock. Don't forget that second chaturanga. Hmm. From here, it's a little bit of a tricky move, so pay attention. We'll draw the chin into the chest, lead with the upper back and the spine, rock forward, roll forward, really. So, leading with the upper back and the spine, you've got this big rounded back. Come forward into King Cobra, so the toes are under. So this is your back bend, right? So um, opening here and then engaging the core, lifting back up into Down Dog. Let's try that again. So draw the chin into the chest, round forward, shoulder blades leading on the inhale. And as you exhale, drop the hips, open the heart. And back to Down Dog, inhale. Rocking forward, rounding through the back. Cobra, King Cobra to Down Dog. We'll do two more. Engage the core during the rounding portion. Last one. So it's like a really, really big cat cow. To Down Dog. Excellent job. Inhale the right leg up and open. Bend the knee. Kick the wall behind you. Try to square the shoulders best you can. And allow the stretch in the inner thigh to be enjoyable. It's one of my favorite stretches. Maybe take the opportunity to shake the head. Yes and no. And then rock forward to plank, take the knee to the left elbow, right elbow, and kick it back to down dog, just regular down dog. We'll do this 10 times, so opposite. Left, right, and back, kicking with the right leg. Two. Three. Really strong core workout today. Four. Five. Core tight. Six. Getting a lot of fluid movement here. Seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, step it through. Press the left heel away from you. Inhale up, high lunge. Take a bend through the left knee now. Press forward, draw the left knee up into the chest, keep the arms above the head or hands at prayer, and then step back to high lunge. 
So he'll, here we'll be working on some balancing postures. If you your balance isn't up for it today or you're feeling a little bit wobbly, whatever the case might be, then come back to that empathy, right? You're having moments like this. Other people will have moments like this. We never know what is going on in another person's life. We barely know what's going on in our lives. So having that ability, that wherewithal of knowing that this situation is hard and that what we see from other people is not necessarily the whole story. So choosing compassion, choosing kindness, and choosing empathy while we flow through these balancing postures. So bend through the left leg, step forward, left knee up into the chest, and step back. One. Press through the right heel, core tight. Two. Three. Four. Inhale back. And five. This time, we'll kick it out to the side, which makes it a little bit harder. Straight out to the side, engage the obliques. And back. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Staying here, balance on the right leg. Bring the left foot to the shin or up into the thigh. Tree pose. Engage the core, keep the hands at prayer at heart center, or take the hand placement that we had at the beginning of practice, left hand towards the heart, right hand towards the back of the left hand. Lift out of that left, right leg, engage the core, relax the shoulders. Breathe. Notice where you are in your body today. Notice the energetics, notice the physical qualities. Notice where your body's talking to you. Mine is my ankles. Balancing postures are very hard for me due to my ankle strength, apparently. So whenever I'm holding a balancing posture like this, my ankles are on fire. So let me know where you're on fire right now. And let's all commiserate together for this balancing posture. All right, step it back. High lunge, beautiful prayer twist. Inhale up, exhale, plant the palm, step it back, vinyasa. Inhale the left leg up and open, kick the left foot towards the right of the room, square the shoulders, lift the knee high. Beautiful. Inhale, kick it back up. And then rock forward, exhale, left knee to right elbow, left elbow, and back. Whew. Knee circles. Two. Core tight. Three. Whew. I really feel it on this side. Four. On these twisting abs, my left ribs are always tight. Five. Whew. Six. Speed is of no importance, so go at your pace. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, step forward. Inhale up, high lunge. Bring the hands to prayer. Feel that energetic connection in the palms of your hands. Imagine that light emanating from the heart space. Press through the left heel, engage the core. Step forward, knee in. And step back. One. Inhale back. Exhale, knee in. Three. Core tight. Four. Five. Step back. This time, whoo, knee to the outside. One. Changes the balance a little bit. Two. Three. Four. 
five. Staying here, bring the right foot to the left shin or calf area or into the thigh, tree pose. Really press the thigh into the foot, foot into the thigh. Engage both legs, engage that right glute. Lift out of the left hip, relax the shoulders, hands to prayer or our hand position from earlier. Imagining the light moving in and out of the heart space and surrounding yourself with compassion, with love, with empathy for others and for yourself, right? This is all a practice. And sometimes we fall and sometimes we're strong and that's all part of life in this human body. Excellent, step the right leg back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, prayer twist. Inhale up, exhale plank, vinyasa. Keep the core tight, smile to downward dog. <sighs> Inhale, lift up onto the toes, bend the knees, look between the hands. Exhale, hop, step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Shake the head. Allow gravity to take over for a second. Allow the blood to move in the opposite direction. Feels nice. And then bend the knees, dip the chin. Inhale, ragdoll roll up to standing. Reach the hands above the head. Exhale, prayer. Now, whatever way, Feels best to you so that you can face the screen. Take a big wide step, okay? So take the feet facing the diagonals of the mat, bend the knees so that your knees are over the ankles and tracing, tracking the toes, tracking the feet, okay? Plie. From here, inhale, open the heart, look up. Exhale, round the chin into the chest. Press through the inner and outer edges of the feet. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Cat cow with the upper body. Inhale, open, heart. Exhale, round. The back is also part of the heart space, the heart chakra. So we want to open that as well. Couple more. Two more. Last one. Beautiful, sink a little bit deeper. Side bend, right elbow to right thigh, reach up and over, and the other side. Three, four, press the thighs away from each other. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Take the hands behind you now to clasp. Stay in plie. Inhale, open the heart, lift, look up. Straighten the legs, point the toes forward. Exhale, forward fold. Allow gravity to take over the hands. The fists, keep a micro bend in the knees, press through the outer edges of the feet. And release the clasp. Inhale, half lift. Exhale here. Take the hands to the hips. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Turn the left toes out, bend through the left leg. Maybe you'll have to step the right foot a little bit farther away, as I did. Maybe you won't, you know, your practice, your body, but come into warrior two. Hands parallel or arms parallel to the floor, press through the outer edge of the right foot, look down and make sure that the left 
uh, heel is bisecting that right arch. So if you're way out of proportion here, come back in and find your alignment, okay? Press that left thigh, that left leg away from you. So externally rotating that left hip and internally a little bit rotating the right hip. Squeeze the shoulder blades toward one another, engage the core, sink into that left leg, hold, warrior two. A strong, strong powerful pose, also very difficult, <laughs> can be, if you're holding it for a while especially. So notice what your internal dialogue begins to say. Notice if you are beginning to tell yourself you can't do it, you wanna come out, it's too hard. And find that balance between pushing through and giving in, right? So you don't wanna give in too early. Your mind is going to give up before your body does. So you don't wanna give in too early, but you also wanna respect where you are and choose empathy. So you don't need to bulldoze your way through the practice. If it's tired, if it hurts a little bit, not in a bad way, right? If it hurts in a sore way, come out of it, shake it out and come back in right? Choose that middle ground for you. From here, bend through the right leg, focus on a point on the mat or in front of the mat, and launch off into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Option to stay here or bend the right Knee, reach back, grab the right ankle, and open, back bend. And step it back, warrior two. Straighten through the left leg, turn the left toes in now. Right toes out, sink into warrior two, other side, other direction. Find that balance or find that alignment first and then find that balance for you. Relax the shoulders, sink a little bit deeper, press through the outer edge of that left foot. Gaze over the right fingertips, keep the fingertips energetic. Externally rotate that right hip, internally rotate the left just a little bit. Lift out of the pelvic bowl, engage the core, stand strong and proud. Sink a little bit deeper through that right leg. Everything is engaged in the lower body and the upper body is calm and relaxed. Don't forget to smile. Maybe you'll notice everything's shaking a little bit, that's fine. If you need to, come out of it, shake it out, and then come back in. Excellent, bend through that left leg, focus on a point on the mat or in front of the mat and launch forward into half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Flex the left foot, open the left hip on top of the right, left shoulder on top of the right, gaze on the mat or if you wanna make it more difficult for yourself, you can try to take your gaze up. I'm going to choose not to do that today. And then option here to bend the left leg Reach back, grab the ankle, and open. Back bend, heart opener, great for the hip flexor, just feels oh so good. <laughs> and release, step it back, warrior two. Straighten through the legs, turn to face the side of the mat, and then step forward, to the front, take your feet a little bit wider now, toes out, heels in, and sink the hips down, yogic squat, hands to prayer, gently press the knees away from you with the elbows, lift the heart, sink the hips, smile. Imagining that light moving in and out of the heart space, the heart chakra, Anahata, that home of love and relationships with others and with yourself. Excellent. Place the hands down. Step the right foot back. 
Come into lizard pose. Left foot forward, right foot back. You can drop the right knee down. Maybe scooch the legs a little bit farther away from each other to get a deeper stretch, a different stretch. Just a feel good place to land, to rest. Maybe come down onto your forearms if that feels good or onto a block if you're in that in-between space. If you're on the forearms, come on up. Lift the right knee up, hop the right foot to the front of the mat, and then the left foot comes back, lizard pose. Hands are on the inside of the leg, scooch the left knee a little bit farther away. If you'd like to change the stretch a little bit, noticing the stretch in the right glutes, the left hip flexor. Option to stay up here or come down onto the forearms if that feels good. Inhale, come back up. Take the right leg back to meet the left. Stack the knees underneath, or stack the hips above the knees. Walk the hands forward. Allow the heart to open towards the mat. Extended puppy. Inhale, walk the hands back in. Flip over, come onto your bum. Come into reverse tabletop. So fingertips facing towards you, feet parallel to each other, lift the hips, open the heart. And from here, we'll take the right elbow to the left knee, left elbow to right knee, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, keep the hips high. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Awesome, drop the hips, forward fold. Seated forward fold. Inhale back up, take the right foot on the outside of the left, twist, flex the left foot. Press through the big toe mound of the right foot. You can also bend that left leg and bring the foot towards the hips if that feels good to you. Other side. Left foot on the outside of the right knee, left arm back, inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Awesome, release. Take the left foot forward, right foot back, pigeon pose. I'm not giving a lot of explanation here because this is an intermediate advanced practice. So I'm sure at this point you know what you're doing. You don't wanna bore you with too much talk. So come back to our intention, right? Moving through this practice with empathy. Moving through your life with empathy, the world with empathy your relationships, both with yourself and with others. Inhale, come up, release, and other side. Pigeon on the right side. Press through the top of the left foot. Find your your middle ground, that place that feels good, relaxing for you.
Inhale, come back up. Take both legs back now. Come to a seat. Soles of the feet down. Take your hands behind you and allow both knees to fall to the left and the right. Just kind of windshield wipering the legs. And then take the legs long. Roll down onto your back. Bring the right knee into the chest. Supine twist. Reach the right arm away from you. Maybe look over the right shoulder. Other side. Left knee in and across. Maybe look over the left shoulder. And come back to center. Take the hands underneath the booty, press the elbows into the mat. Inhale, lift the heart, bring the crown of the head to the floor. Fish pose, point the toes. Last back bend. And then release. Take the feet to the left and the right. Shimmy the shoulders up underneath the heart. Allow the hands to relax. The chin dips into the chest just a little. And from here, that light that we were working with, as you inhale, notice that light moving all through the body. So it enters through the heart and disperses throughout the body. And as you exhale, it moves through the body and back out through the heart to connect with the universe. Inhale through the heart, that light grows brighter as it moves throughout the body. Exhale, it moves back out to connect with universal consciousness, with all of the other conscious beings on the planet. Last time, inhale in. The light glows up the body. And as you exhale, release it all out into the universe. As a reminder that we are always connected. We're always one. Allow the breath to return to normal. Allow the body to sink into the mat to relax and release here in Shavasana. Stay here for as long as you are able. And I'll see you soon for our next class together. From my heart to yours, Satnam.